Kurdish Peshmerga forces withdrew from the town, located on the Zab River, after battling the advancing Iraqi troops with machine guns, mortars, and rocket-propelled grenades, Iraqi security sources said. Neither side gave immediate information about casualties in the fighting. The Iraqi central government forces have advanced into Kirkuk province largely unopposed as most Peshmerga forces withdrew without a fight. The government advance has transformed the balance of power in northern Iraq and is likely to scuttle the independence aspirations of the Kurds, who voted overwhelmingly on September 25 to secede from Iraq and take the oil fields of Kirkuk with them. The fighting at Altun Kukri marked only the second instance of significant violent resistance by the Kurds in Kirkuk province. Dozens were killed or wounded in the previous clash on Monday, the first night of the government advance. Altun Kukri is the last town in Kirkuk province on the road to Erbil, lying just outside the border of the autonomous region established after the fall of Saddam Hussein in 2003. Iraqi forces are seeking to re-establish Baghdad's authority over territory which the Kurdish forces occupied outside the official boundaries of their autonomous region, mostly seized since 2014 Indiana the course of the war on Islamic State militants. Iraq's top Shiite cleric Grand Ayatollah Ali al-Sistani, called on Friday for the state to protect Kurds in northern Iraq, a rare political intervention by a figure whose words have the force of law for most of Iraq's Shiite majority. Sistani's call, issued at the Friday prayer in the holy Shiite city of Kerbala by one of his representatives, came amid reports of abuses against Kurds in areas evacuated by the Kurdish Peshmerga including Kirkuk, Tuz Kiermato and Konakin. Tens of thousands of Kurds fled Kirkuk and Tuz to the two main cities of the Kurdish autonomous region, Erbil and Suleymaniyya, according to Kurdish officials. The United Nations expressed concern on Thursday at reports of forced displacement and destruction of Kurdish homes and businesses, mainly in Tuz. In Konakin, near the Iraq-Iran border, a Kurdish demonstrator was killed and six others wounded by Iraqi security forces on Thursday as the Kurds were protesting against the takeover of their city, the local mayor said. Iraq's post-Saddam constitution allows the Kurds self-rule in three mountainous northern provinces and guarantees them a fixed percentage of Iraq's total oil income, an arrangement that saw them prosper while the rest of the country was at war. Kurdish Peshmerga moved into Kirkuk without a fight in 2014 taking over positions left by Iraqi army as it fled in the face of Islamic State militants.